So that's it for Cementa 19. That was our fourth festival, and it was a really interesting time. It was a, it was a good festival, I thought. It was one of my favorites. This year we held it later in the year, and we also happened to place it in the middle of one of the most severe droughts that the region's known for some time. The huge fires that have been raging through New South Wales were happening, and that created a certain tension in the festival. It discouraged some people from coming over the mountains. It closed Gangari, so there wasn't the, the camping that people come up for. I, I want to thank the community of Candos and Ralston for coming out. Uh, we definitely saw a few of you out there um, having a good time and getting around. This festival we had a uh, the opening of the Wiradjuri Cultural Center uh, with a curated show by John Mundine. It was packed out, um, it was really amazing art and a, and, a, and a great speech by John on the opening night. Uh, this is a very exciting uh, development for us and for our Aboriginal community. On the same night, we had the opening of the Cementa Salon, uh, which is an exhibition of local artists here in Way Out, which is uh, our brand new uh, art space. So the, the cultural infrastructure in Candos is growing exponentially. We also tried something new with the uh, opening night. We did it at the local RSL in amongst the meat raffles. We invited the Motel Sisters to curate a performance night and uh, it was a really mixed crowd. It was very interesting and at times it, it was a little bit tense because two very, very different cultures kind of were, were coming and rubbing shoulders. And that tension eventually dissolved into karaoke and a really fun play put on by the local uh, amateur theater group, the Twin Town Players, poking fun at the artists all descending on the town. We had our sound night, uh, this time curated by Gail Priest. She brought artists that normally don't work together and uh, had them uh, perform together. I even had one local come up to me afterwards and brag that, that she'd gone to the sound night and, uh, and she actually quite enjoyed it, which I don't think she was expecting. You two, that way, you that way. One of the festival highlights was uh, Swimming Pool, produced by PYT Fairfield and directed by Tessa Leon. Uh, this was a devised theatre work that took place inside the swimming pool here at Candos. The audience and the performers all got into the pool together. And I tell you, I've never seen so many adults having such fun. The smiles on people's faces were absolutely unrestrained. It was, it was, it was brilliant to see. And of course, there were the 40 artworks from the 40 artists that have uh, been visiting the town across the two years. Uh, I can't speak to them all, but I, I can speak to a few of them. Simon Dorobielski made this mad uh, ceremonial roller skating work in the local basketball court. Emily Parsons Lord and Sarah Morowitz made this work at the Henbury Golf Club, uh, where they lit a wick that traveled the entire length of the driveway of the golf club, and the audience followed along as they told a story about the times we live in and the tension uh, that we uh, that, that we're all experiencing. And this, of course, culminated in a in a fireworks display at the end of it, which was really quite beautiful. Susan Barling is a local woman, a dancer. She devises a dance around a cement bag dress that sits in the Candos Museum, and it was a very well-loved work. Andrew Frost curated an exhibition of regional artists, a kind of validation of the quality of artwork being produced in regional New South Wales. Adam Norton gave us a very convincing asteroid crater. Keg D'Souza handed out cement-flavored icy poles, and Lucas Abella installed his mesmerizing Fort Thunder in the Scout Hall. Ella Dreyfus created a wonderful work in which everyone who attended the festival could trace their connections to each other, resulting in the most incredible tangle of a map. And Malcolm Whitaker attempted to shake the hand of every local in the town. And though he might have failed, he still managed to charm a few people. KSEA presented the body of work developed over the last two years, working with farmers and scientists across regional New South Wales, and ended the festival with a conversation on regional renewal and a foraged feast by Diego Bonetto and Marnie Foss. I just wanted to thank everybody who made Cementa possible. The team, you were brilliant. I want to thank the, the artists for all the work you did. Many people don't see how much work goes into to this festival. And lastly, I'd like to thank the audience for making it over the mountain despite the fires, uh, for coming in from, from Dubbo and from Orange and from Bathurst, from across the region. And I'm so glad that you made the effort to come out and join in. So thank you uh, and we'll see you next festival.